Hi folks, listen, before we begin tonight, let me just say this. I want you to read the articles that I use on this uh, program every night. Because, let me tell you something. The articles are 100% accurate. And I use the articles on this program every night. So, if you think that everything that I say is just hearsay, let me tell you something. You are wrong. And if you think that what I'm doing is lying, then I'm sorry. But, you know, I'm not trying to spread lies. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, uh, make you uh, think that I'm a goofball or anything like that. I'm just trying to give you an excellent show. And this is the uh, kind of show that uh, nobody else uh, can do. Well, a few people can try to do uh, this show, but nobody can uh, do uh, this show the way that I can do this show, you know, with my team. So, please, please read the articles when you're done watching this episode, and please hang tight, because this episode week now update is going to be fantastic. Ladies and grasshoppers, it is time for another exciting episode of Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller. It's directed by Cinderama, and it's produced by The Camera Lady, and association by The Camera Man, with performances by The Color Beady Crew and Evo Amber, with partners by Tom Allen. Edward Scott and Rebel Wilson with his co-host Elia Mueller. So without further ado, let's get the show on the road. Hey, hey, hey! What's coming up next? It's Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller. Then the morning show starting Rebel Wilson and extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come on Nick at Night. <laughs> well, the gorgeous YouTube dog, yo. And Michael Costa, if you're watching this, then please stay where you are. Because we don't need you uh, over here. It's week of the early you. And now, man, who knows that Michael Costa will never, ever, ever get his own late night talk. Especially considering the fact that Michael Costa will be stuck on the Daily Show as a correspondent for the next 38 years. <laughs> Mr. Ellie Gunny Mueller! Hi! Welcome to Week of Update. I'm Ellie Gunny Mueller. What's up, Chris Hoppers? Come out of my Mr. Tom Allen! Hey, boss, did you have a nice weekend? Yes! Did you have a good weekend? Oh, yeah! Good! Good! Woo! These are sports by Dolphin Matthew Spiano, the Toy Man, the Camera Lady, and the Camera Man, and Ian Ramsey, Dragon Ball Level 2004, are responsible for most of the things people have seen here on this program tonight, and they are so much house for us tonight. Along with Nav 509, The Barkers, The Bomber Camera Show, Bomber Camera, Why Our Alice is Back, The Lemon Podcast, Dean and Endor, Bomber Man, Dark Wars, Duo, Sky the Dragon, Sony Dragon, or the Super Master Dragon, the Dark Emperor. Please check all those people out. Ladies and gentlemen, Hello, my uh, twin sister and my co-host, Elia. Hello, everyone. Elia, what's wrong? Well, the cameraman is keeping secrets from me. Well, the cameraman is a very mysterious guy. You're telling me? I hope that he will tell me what's going on with him very soon. Elia, everything will be fine. You know, you just need to uh, stop uh, worrying about uh, you know, secrets and things like that. But why if the secrets uh, turn out to be lies and things like that? Good question. We'll have to uh, do uh, a story about that during uh, a moment for everyone. But right now, 
We gotta do something important. Oh, is it time to find out what's up? You got it. Roll the intro, please. What is up? 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 What's up, Michael Costa? A man who wants his own late night talk show. Michael, you need to slow down. I'm going to be on late night TV first. Now, he will publish a memoir about his life in 2025. Hey, is he taking a page from my playbook? Dude! Not cool, man. And wait, he loves late night TV. He loves the magic of it. He also wants to host his own late night talk show. Get in line, Michael. Get in line. I want a real late night talk show, too. Give me a break, please. Why on earth would you say that? Did you even look at your jokes before you started uh, this whole worship bang here? Uh... That's why I thought. Elliot, can you please tell everybody what we're about to do now? Help me, please. Does everybody know what time it is? Is it time for something that involves a weeknight update? That's correct. It's time for our top eight. Yeah, top eight to know what the top eight things are. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what the top eight is going to be this time. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. Well, Ellie's going to figure it out. Yeah, Tom, it's absolutely so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Take it away, Ellie! yee We'll take it from here, boss. Fans category, top eight reasons why Michael Costa will not host a real late night talk show. Number eight, he is being forced to talk about politics 24-7. Number seven, he doesn't know how to be funny. Number six, he loves his ties too much. Number five, he has a new book out. Number four, Comedy Central is ignoring him. Number three, Michael Costa is not ready for the big time. Number two, nobody's hiring a new late night talk show host yet. And number one, the host of this show is blowing everyone out of the water. Really? Really? Yeah. Boys, thanks. You know the drill, hashtag we not the hashtag on real fake, hashtag on real for the ultimate hashtag for the world, hashtag all the rules. Just spread those hashtags on social media. Please, please, thanks. Why would I like to think the private bell chef can count the cost section down below? We'll be right back with, uh, what are we going to do when we come back? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we come back, we're going to talk to Edward Scott. We're going to uh, see another episode of Special Delivery. We'll listen to the uh, Multiverse Disability Choir. And then we'll have a moment for everyone and we'll have the all important talking time. So watch these specials and then we'll be right back. Come on back. This is still week now, update, now it is your father, right? Go, 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 go! Ooh, what you say? Ooh, that you... Television, this is what it means Fulfillment of all your wildest dreams What you get from us here in TV land It's good TV, you understand Nick at night! Hey, you know what's up here? Your new Empire carpet. Oh, it's gorgeous. Let me tell you about it. First of all, it won't cost you much. From $6.95 a yard installed, including foam padding. Our credit plan gives you 60 days to make an installment payment. And now to celebrate our 25th anniversary, we're offering this push-button telephone or abyssal shampoo free with any carpet order. So call us about your new carpet. 588-2300-M5. Hey, guys, how do I get down from here? Guys?
Discover Scott and the boys. Hi, Ed. Hey, boss. How are you? I'm feeling fine. Hey, how was your uh, weekend with your wife? It was fantastic. Good. Good. Are you ready for uh, a great show? Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Didn't we already get started? Yeah. Yeah. Elia, what time is it? It's time for another episode of Special Delivery. Correct. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Funshine Bear. And our top story tonight, that a man that was swallowed whole by a whale escaped today until he was all pooped out. That is our top story. And now let's move on to the outside world with Recycling Bear. Recycling Bear. Well, Funshine Bear, I'm absolutely am proud to say that a man absolutely done a whole lot of recycling today. And he came up to me and say, I feel very good about recycling. What makes you feel good? And I said, well, caring about the planet. Well, that is very interesting. Now let's move on to the weather with Mystery Bear. Mystery Bear. Wow! Ain't this a fun mystery to all of you folks out there? We have a fine good old weather this evening. It's going to be sunny today all week. But just letting you know, there's going to be a whole lot of rain coming by by uh, next week and boy it's gonna be quite a storm but don't worry sunny days will always come well thank you for that mystery bear now thank you for watching this good old news today good night and good news don't you mean good day yeah oh yeah good day my bad Long live Cookie Bun Cooper and Sean Licks the Hedgehog. Come to Arizona, can do an experiment. Long live Cookie Bun Cooper and Sean Licks the Hedgehog. We can do anything for our friends. Epic Charles and Jim are very happy with our adventures. Since Scratch murdered Charles and Jim Long live Cookie Bun Cooper and Sean Licks the Hedgehog. Now we must protect Fiona since she has PTSD. Long live Cookie Bunker and Sean Lick the Hedgehog. Now that my niece, have we fought for good? And now Fiona has PTSD no more, yeah. Long live Cookie Bunker and Sean Lick the Hedgehog. Long live Cookie Bunker and Sean Lick the Hedgehog. Long live Cookie Bunker and Sean Lick the Hedgehog. Do you approve the clocking? How's your squawking sprung it through? Keep me before me. Where well, we found the adventures, we sought it out for you. We knew what to do. We are such clever chaps. No, who's alone now? Long live Cookie Bun Cooper and Sean Lick the Hedgehog. Genius, genius, good one. And you, Dean, start coach now. 
Not a cookie for you, but I surely feel a hack job! It ain't just you! time it is? Uh, no, the camera lady. What time is it? Well, Rebel, it's time for a moment for everyone. I wonder what Ellie is going to say this time. Well, we're about to find out right now. Yeah, so take it away, Ellie. Yeah, Ellie. Love you, my smoochie poo. Folks, some people think that when I talk about certain things on the show, I'm just making stuff up. That's not true at all. Granted, the top eight lists are made up because they're supposed to be silly, but the what's up jokes are based on the articles that usually appear in the description below every episode of Week Up. And I show you the articles that I use for the what's up segment every night during the talking time. Second. So before you start saying that I spread lies on this show, please read the articles that are in the description down below. The articles are accurate. Now, let me tell you what should often count as lies. Secrets that have not been told to anybody in years. Let me explain. You can keep secrets from others if they are about the things that you are doing, such as a movie or a show or even a project on YouTube. But there are a lot of secrets that you shouldn't keep from your loved ones. For example, if you keep your secrets from the people who you have trusted since the beginning of your life, or close to the beginning of your life, then they will not trust you. It's just common sense. Now, here's a story for you, and trust me, this will help you understand what will happen if you keep secrets from your loved ones. And by the way, Elia, Tom, Allen, Edward Scott, and Cinderella will help me out with this. Now, not too long ago, a man tried to keep his relationship with his girlfriend alive. But he always messed everything up. So one night, he asked his girlfriend, Honey, what do you like? His girlfriend replied, It's a secret, so you'll never know. Next day, his girlfriend found her two best friends at the corner store and said, Here's my secret. I love killing other people. People's secrets that my boyfriend can be confused forever. Her female friend said, That's messed up! Her male friend said, Yeah, you're going to break his heart. The man's girlfriend replied, I'm doing this for his own good. The whole charade carried on for about three weeks. One day, the man found his girlfriend kissing another guy and said, <gasps> That's it! She's cool with me! That's why she's keeping secrets from me. She didn't love me at all. If she had loved me, then she would have told me everything. The man found his ex-girlfriend's best friend immediately. And they told him everything. Now, that man's heart was broken because she was a cheater and a liar. And that's why we should never keep secrets from our loved ones. Secrets are huge lies that will ultimately destroy everything. That's not an opinion. It's a fact. And also, when you are doing your own show, make sure you, that you include the articles that you will use on the show. And also, make sure that you, uh, that you cite the uh, articles in your descriptions so that nobody will call you a lie. Thank you, Elia. And by the way, you, Tom Allen, Edward Scott, and Cinderella did an excellent job, uh, you know, with the uh, story. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, will you please tell everybody at home what time it is? It's time for us to have a little talking time. 
Correct. Roll the day. Hey, do you know what time it is? That's right. It's talk time to know what he's going to talk about. So let's talk about it. Woohoo! Michael Costa, a correspondent from Michael Costa, is publishing his forthcoming memoir entitled Lucky Loser, Adventures in Tennis and Comedy, next year. That's right. His book tells the story of how he went from being a tennis player to being a comedian to being on the dating I hope that uh, a lot of people will read his book. Meanwhile, let's take a look at this. Michael Costa has been uh, one of the uh, semi-regular guest hosts on the uh, Daily Show. Which, by the way, has managed to uh, keep Jon Stewart uh, you know, locked in uh, every uh, Monday you know, through the end of 2025. But anyway, Michael Costa said that he would love to host a late night talk show because, you know, he loves the magic of it and he loves the death. He also said that he wants to host his own late night talk show because that's his goal. Michael, that's my goal as well. Also, as far as your book is concerned, I have a feeling that you'll have a better chance of being a best-selling author than actually having your own late-night talk show. Well, what can you do? Hey! Let's find out what this week's uh, Count of the Week question is, shall we? This week's Count of the Week question is, what do you think is scary? Halloween or an alligator who knows everyone's secret? Go over to the community chat post and answer that question as honestly and as thoughtfully as you can. Now, that's it for tonight's episode of Week Now Update, but the rest of this week will be very interesting. Tomorrow we're going to talk about Margot Robbie. Then on Wednesday we're going to talk about Channing Tatum. Then on Thursday we're going to talk about Halloween because it'll actually be Halloween. And then on Friday we're going to talk about pie. That's right. We're going to have some stuff from uh, E.R.I.B.E. Dragon Ball Live 2004, The Cubby Crew, Andy Camelay, and The Camera Man all week. And we're going to have something from Christian Freitas and Mild Chakra on Friday. So, please do not miss uh, what we're going to do uh, this week because it's going to be exciting. Well, guess what, folks? That's news. And I am out, Steve. Four by four. And that has been another exciting episode of Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller. And now, it is time to hear some final thoughts of the villains. So, good night, everyone. Well, uh, we better get Ellie some credit. Why is that? They're gonna have to keep on doing it until they get it right. <laughs> Television, this is what it means. Fulfillment of all your wildest dreams. What you get from us here in TV land is good TV.